heart-pounding new video showing the moments before a man wielding a metal chain is shot dead by San Diego police. Good afternoon. I'm Kimberly Hunt. The body camera video just released by the district attorney's office shows the man moving toward the officer who is screaming at him to put it down, get on the ground, or he will be shot. Today, we learned the officer was cleared of any wrongdoing. 10 News reporter Travis Rice is live in the newsroom now. Travis, a law enforcement expert says this is about as clear cut as it gets. Yeah, Kimberly, the video is only about a minute and 40 seconds long, but it shows an officer do just about everything he can while a man swings a chain at him. Drop the chain! That's how a man greets an officer in newly released body cam video. The images are from an officer's perspective responding to a call last August about a man attacking another with a machete in Southcrest. Chains are being deployed. Drop it down! Within 10 seconds, Officer Corey Pitts uses his taser on the suspect, later identified as Von Denham. Now, he's approaching with the chain. The taser appears to not work on Denham, so the officer continues to back up, telling the man to drop the chain he is swinging. I have him at gunpoint, and he's approaching me with his chain swinging. In his... A minute and 30 seconds after getting out of the car and warning the man while backpedaling hundreds of feet, the officer acts. Drop it! Backup arrives moments later after the suspect hits the ground. I think that it was totally appropriate. Former officer turned law enforcement consultant Kevin LaChapelle says this is what happens when you take swings at cops. If this guy got close and were to strike him in the head with that chain, he would be incapacitated and now this guy would have access to a handgun. LaChapelle says it's an example of how quickly officers run out of options when someone continues to be violent. And the reality is this was a very dangerous person and if they did not address the situation he would have likely began hurting other people as well again the da's office says the officer acted in his own self-defense and bears no criminal liability meantime it is worth mentioning that that suspect tested positive for pcp and meth at the hospital where he died live in the newsroom travis rice 10 news thank you travis